The Grand Ethiopian Renaissance Dam is a $5 billion mega dam under construction on the Blue Nile River in Ethiopia. Once completed, it will be the largest hydroelectric power plant in Africa, capable of generating up to 6,450 megawatts of electricity. Additionally, the dam will provide irrigation for 1.5 million hectares of land and reduce Ethiopia's dependence on imported energy. This project is expected to have a significant impact on the country's economy and the region as a whole. Please take a moment to like and subscribe to the African Web channel so you won't miss out on our next video. Also, press the notification bell. The Renaissance Dam project on the Blue Nile has sparked a heated debate over the ownership of the river and its water supplies. This controversial project could have severe consequences for downstream countries, like Egypt. The dam is classified as a mega dam due to its enormous size, being twice as tall as the Golden Gate Bridge in San Francisco in the United States of America. The reservoir behind it is also incredibly large, equivalent to the size of London. Despite being in the works for decades, the project could lift millions out of poverty. Upon completion, it will generate over 5,000 megawatts of electricity, more than double Ethiopia's current output, while its reservoir will hold 74 billion cubic meters of water. The Renaissance Dam is a massive infrastructure project that will consist of two power plants, three spillways, and a saddle dam. The main dam will be 1.7 kilometers long and 145 meters deep, while the saddle dam that supports it will be an incredible 4.8 kilometers long and 45 meters high. The entire structure will be built using 10 million cubic meters of roller compacted concrete. Given the dam's immense size, it's likely that special on site concrete batching plants have been set up near the work site to increase efficiency and maintain better control over the delivery of materials, which is crucial for large scale concrete pours. The dam will feature two outdoor power plants on either side of the river with a capacity to generate between 2,000 and 3,700 megawatts of electricity. The construction of the Renaissance Dam required the setup of specialized on-site concrete batching plants near the construction site due to the dam's immense scale. This led to increased efficiency and better control over the delivery of materials. However, there is a heated dispute over the ownership of the Nile and its water since the dam is being built on the Blue Nile, which is only 30 kilometers upstream from the Sudanese border. Egypt is located downstream and is almost entirely constructed around the Nile. Around 95% of the population of the country resides within a few kilometers of the well-known river, and a staggering 85% of the nation's water comes from this source. River Nile canals help sustain cities, agriculture, and fisheries by irrigating farms. Additionally, the Nile has been sustaining this desert region for thousands of years. If the water source were to be compromised in any way, it could have serious consequences. Ethiopia views the mega dam as an essential step towards alleviating poverty, as half of its population currently lacks access to electricity, and it has already achieved significant economic growth through infrastructure investment. The construction of the Ethiopian Dam has sparked controversy, as downstream countries such as Egypt and Sudan fear that it will negatively impact their water supply. Ethiopia, on the other hand, argues that the benefits of the dam exceed any potential harm to downstream countries. Nevertheless, there is still disagreement over who has ownership of the water. Sudan, for example, relies heavily on the River Nile for irrigation and hydropower. If the dam reduces the amount of water flowing downstream, it could have significant economic and social consequences for these countries. 
negotiations between Ethiopia, Egypt, and Sudan have been ongoing for several years to reach an agreement on the operation of a dam. However, as of 2020, Ethiopia began filling the reservoir behind the dam without an agreement, which further heightened tensions between the three countries. Despite the dam being almost 90% complete and expected to be full in three years, negotiations have almost entirely broken down, and no agreement has been reached. Regardless of the outcome, this infrastructure project will likely alter the region's rivers and other features. Do you believe that the construction of this dam has the potential to trigger a conflict between the countries involved? Let me know in the comment section below. If you enjoy this video and want to hear from me again, hit the subscribe button before you go. Thank you for watching.